Hey, what's up, man? It's Phil X. This is a 1973 Gibson Les Paul Deluxe. This is something else that was on the wall that we got a lot of requests. People were like, can you hit that, um, that Deluxe with the mini humbucker so you guys can hear what mini humbuckers sound like. Now, they don't sound like single coils, and they don't sound like humbuckers, because they're not either. They're mini humbuckers. So it's a, it's a low output, smaller sound than a humbucker, but not noisy and single coily sounding like a, a Strat or a Tele. Um, it's in it's near mint condition. They have the hang tags. It looks like uh, looks pretty cool, right? Like maybe maybe an Alban brother used it or something. Anyways, I'm gonna show you guys something that I, I found. Uh, actually, a guitar tech gave me this. This is a little dealio here, and it's plastic. And this is if you don't want to put like I always drop Les Pauls if, if I don't put something there. Well, I mean I, I've never dropped a Les Paul because I have Bruce Lee reflexes and I always catch it before it hits the ground. But to prevent any kind of accident, this is a piece of plastic that goes over the, the strap button and you just turn it and it's locked. You don't need to change the, the strap button or put any washers on if you don't want to change it. This is a vintage guitar. You don't want to around with uh, parts, right? And you don't want to make the hole any bigger. And if you keep taking the screw in and out, it's going to make it bigger. And you don't want to do that too because it's a vintage guitar. And you might not even want to do your brand new guitar, right? So, that's what I use on vintage guitars. Anyways, uh, check it out, man. I'm in the Vox AC30. It's pretty clean, right? I love the neck pickup. It sounds really cool. You can actually do, if you can do a strat sound with this mini humbucker, like something like a... Uh... distracted I'm sorry I just blew it but I'm not gonna do it like usually we would take take two but uh, I think there was enough good stuff in there that we we could just let it go right maybe not butterflies and zebras and moonbeams and fairy tales all she ever talks about okay so I'm in the tone master now and with the my bad monkey, we can do this. You're like this, and then it goes like this. Where do we go? <laughs> Where do we go now? Where do we go? Where do we go now? Where do we go? Oh, where do we go now? Yeah. 
We got a lot of requests for Guns N' Roses, and uh, I still don't know any. That was just hearing it a few times in my life. Actually, I heard it a lot, but I never learned it. But that's the ear. Kids, it's all about ear training. Learn a lot of songs, and you'll be able to use your ear to learn more songs <laughs> instead of tabs and stuff and YouTube videos. But YouTube videos come in handy um, when you can't figure stuff out. That's really hard because you can watch somebody do it. And you can actually watch the guy do it, who did it. Like Slash, right? He goes, hey man, this is how I did the uh, switch out of my solo. I'm gonna go watch it when I go home. No. But anyways, um, what else we wanna do today? We're still in the Tone Master rocking out. Everything's just dying today.